hello everyone this is Manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video I will tell you how we can save image using ASP.NET Core web API so first of all let's create a new project so I'm using Visual Studio 2019 you can use any version of Visual Studio so click here create a new project and now from the templates we will choose dotnet core web api so you can search over here i have already created multiple projects so i will get a direct link here to create a dotnet core web api just wait for a moment so here asp.net core web api click here and next or you can simply search here so let me click on next now we need to give a name so save image in ASP.NET Core and let me give a location click on next now target framework leave as it is and click on create so it will create our new ASP.NET Core web API project so it will take some time because it will download or create all the file and folders so now you can see this is the default page of ASP.NET Core Web API and if I go to Solution Explorer so you see this is the default files and folders so if you see controllers let me expand it so this is the default controller which we get with every .NET Core Web API project so these are app settings, program, startup alright so close it in the controllers right click add controller click on web api and api controller empty click on add so from here we'll create a controller which will handle to save the image so let's say uploader controller click on add so see whenever you add a new controller so you'll get this kind of interface so api controller this is your route and this is your controller name so from here let's create first of all let's add a new folder and we need to add a new response class so add folder and give it a name models right click add new class and give it name the response this will cla this class will contain two properties one status code and another one is let's say error message okay so in status codes we will pass um, 100 if there is any error or if there any there is any exception and 200 if the image gets saved successfully in error message will pass the respective message save now go to uploader controller let's create a method so public we will give a type as response which is this class so we need to use a namespace so just press control and dot so it will ask you to include the namespace the problem is this response class is under model so we need to import this namespace so the namespace has been added this one so public response give method name upload file here let's give a http verb which is http post and let's also give a route let's use this upload file as it is now response response is equal to new response and return response all right now let's come here in the models folder we also need to add a new class and give it a name file model this file will contain two properties 
so prop string file name so another property is public i form file for that we need to use a namespace so simply press control dot so microsoft dot asp dot net code dot http and here give it a name file and get set save so our file model is ready this model will take values from the front end whether it is your react.js application it is angular or anything save go back to upload controller so here here we will use from form and now the model as we created this file model and the object file model now let's use try catch block exception exception object so now so string path equal we need to use path dot combine so here we'll give two parameters first is the local folder path and then the image name so let's assume we have a folder in d drive and then file model dot file name so save now go to d drive or anywhere wherever you want to save your file so here i'm creating a new folder called my images and copy this path from here go to visual studio and paste it here and use at the rate save so this is our complete path using stream equal new file stream and here we will give two parameters first one is our path which we just created and file mode dot create so this will create our file file model dot file dot copy to and we need to pass the stream so what does this code do basically here we are defining the path of our local folder and here we are creating a stream using this path and the mode is create so whatever path you will give here and the file name you will provide here it will go to that folder directly and create the image with this name all right so this copy to means it is taking image from the this file uploader and copy creating a copy in this folder only so if everything will go well so now we need to return a response so response dot status code as 200 and response dot error message image created successfully and if some error or exception occurs then we need to give response as response status code is equal to 100 and response dot error message is equal to image let's say some some error occurred plus ex dot message so it will take the actual error message with your response all right so save and let's try to build so control shift b so that command will build our project you see build started so build succeeded try to run this So as you can see, this is our default URL. So let me copy this. 
and now let's open postman so from postman we'll try to save our image and we'll see if the image is coming inside this folder or not so our api is up and running so let's open postman so postman is loaded now so here change the http verb as post paste the url and we need to give our controller name and the method name so go back to visual studio so our controller name is uploader so copy this paste and the method name or you can say the route in our case both are same so you can copy either paste now go to body from form data now we need to give two properties so go back to visual studio and if you see the file model so first property we need to give as file name and the type is text so text is already there value let me give value sample image dot jpg and second property is file so copy this name make sure these file these property names and these keys should be identical otherwise you will not get the value from here text changes to file and click on here so let's go to desktop okay so let's choose this image and let me put a breakpoint here on this method click on send so you can see we are in our visual studio method so if i hover on this file model so you see we are getting file name and file all right so f10 f10 so if you see this is our path and let's refresh this folder okay so there is no image so now if you see there is one image and let's open it okay so image got saved successfully click on continue so if you see the response in postman we got 200 image created successfully all right and now let me remove this and if i try to save this image again send and let me remove this breakpoint and click on continue so we are getting an error let's also continue so now if you see the response so this response is for any error and exception if you see some error occurred this is our static message and after that object response not set to an instance of an object that is returned by the controller method itself this one all right so this is how you can simply save your images using asp.net core web api this is very straight forward code there is nothing major in it and i have shown you how we can get a success message as well as how we can get a error message all right so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and I have one announcement if you are looking for any project like you are creating a college web project or you are doing any internship or you are facing any kind of problem issues or you want any kind of technical help then you can contact me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find my other contact details on my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye